It was the first console that came out with really good quality games that weren't cartoonish. It came out, I was 16, we weren't allowed to play it. Uh, it's banned from my high school. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Game Talk. I'm Paulie. I'm Bryce. How you going? Today we're looking at the Xbox Original and the Xbox and the PlayStation Classic. Let's start with Xbox. Now, did you own an Xbox, Bryce? I owned an Xbox. I still own an Xbox. I never actually owned either an Xbox or a yep. PlayStation. So the Xbox uh, was released later than the PlayStation? Yeah, a few years later. 2001? Yeah. yeah. So it may not have sold as many units as the PlayStation, but the Xbox was still an amazing machine for its time. Onboard storage was unrivaled. Mm. The fact that, yes, you could store your games, your music. Mm. Well, the original PlayStation really didn't have a lot of options. It was purely just gaming. And you were limited to the games that wherever they came out with. There was no online, there was no no expansions, really. There was not a whole lot. But it had great games. It was the first console that came out with really good quality games that weren't cartoonish. Both didn't have the Xbox Live or PlayStation Live as they have today. The PlayStation did come out, you know, I think it was six or seven years before the Xbox. Yeah. So it did have a head start. A bit of the history on the uh, PlayStation, it was originally developed with Nintendo. Sony was looking at transferring its compact disc technology through to Nintendo. Eventually they didn't want it. They said, you know what, stuff them. Stuff yeah. Nintendo, we're gonna do our own thing. And out came the PlayStation. I think it's probably better that way. Yes. We've got more options to select from now. Absolutely. So it was out for a bit longer and I think it sold about 100 million copies. Yeah, right Now, right it came out in a number of different iterations as did the Xbox. Yeah. So the original PlayStation, PlayStation Portable. Yeah, they had the, um, yeah, the real small one. Yes. As well, the second generation of PlayStation that came out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the Xbox also had hard drive upgrade. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the controllers. The PlayStation controller, the original one, that's... Without the toggle sticks, I think perfect. You know, I, I, pre dual shock or yeah, pre dual shock because they were small, they were light, they were everything you needed. The Xbox controller, the first one was huge. It was, it was, it was a massive controller, yeah. wasn't it? It yeah. was, it was extremely large. It had a lot of buttons though. It had a lot of options, which meant in games, obviously, you wouldn't have to flick around as much as you would with the PlayStation one. You had more availability to flick through your guns say for playing gun games or car racing games. An FPS game on the Xbox was easier to play than on the PlayStation, but playing a racing game was somehow easier on the PlayStation than it was on the Xbox. No, they're different styles, I think, in creating of games. What were some of the biggest games of Xbox? Apart from, there was Halo. Yeah, Halo was its biggest game. Do you remember game. Project Gotham? Oh yeah, I've spent many hours on that game. Project so Gotham was fantastic. Frustrating. I will say though that uh, Sony was very successful in getting a huge amount of games onto their system. Yep. There was Grand Theft Auto. It came out, I was 16, we weren't allowed to play it. Uh, it's banned from my high school. Yeah. People would sneak their own discs in. Grand Turismo yep. was available on the PlayStation. Yes. Fantastic game. First few games were um, immaculate. They yes. were great. Accessories. What did we have for the Xbox? We had the keyboard. Yeah, keyboard, mouse. Prices now, at the time of release, um, the PlayStation and the uh, the Xbox were fairly comparable in price. When the when the PlayStation Two came out, uh, I, th I think it was a bit steep. I was selling it for a thousand dollars. That's right. Like unit. That's, That's right. for the first three months. And the Xbox. Uh, 360 was 9.99. Yeah, it was just under. That's our summary of the uh, the Xbox and PlayStation. Which would you prefer to have? It's a hard choice. It depends on what you want, really. Xbox, Xbox. original. So the Xbox, Xbox. original over the. You have to disagree with you on this one, Bryce. Yeah. Um, I would have to say the PlayStation, just for the sheer fact of the amount of games and the huge library it had available. Well, guys, uh, we didn't come to terms here. We, it was a draw. Comment below on the console that you think should have won today's battle. If you have a different opinion, also comment below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Stay up.